Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I am in a different location today because I'm not at home. So this is our little temporary filming setup for now, but I am gonna be watching Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon. I think that title sounds really, really cool. I wonder what the whole Dark of the Moon aspect is. Like, are they actually gonna go to the moon? I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, they're Transformers and they can go into space. That'd be pretty cool. So I've already seen Transformers, the first one, and the second one, Revenge of the Fallen. Revenge of the Fallen, to me, was just kind of okay. It wasn't really anything that special to me. I liked the first one a lot more than the second one. A lot of you in the comments, though, said that the third one, Dark of the Moon, was actually your favorite of the first three, which is really cool. I'm also pretty sure that the first three Transformers movies are almost like a trilogy in their own way, and this kind of wraps up that story, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't think Shia LaBeouf is in the next ones. I'm not really sure what movie to watch after this one, though. I know a lot of you really recommended Bumblebee, the Bumblebee movie, so that's probably one I will check out, but it was kind of hit or miss on whether to continue to the next Transformers movies. I have heard a lot of really great things though about the newest Transformers movie, like the newest, newest one, and I don't know if this is 100% accurate or not, but I think that it may be kind of like a reboot, so I'm not sure if I need to see the other Transformers movies after this third one. First, before I go and watch that one, let me know in the comments do I need the prior knowledge of the rest of the franchise beforehand, or can I just jump straight to that one after watching Bumblebee? I will watch as many of these as y'all want me to, just keep spamming the comments on which ones to watch or just to continue the franchise or whatever you think. Also, if you wanna watch the entire movie with me from beginning to end, you can do that over on our Patreon where you can watch the full length, watch a long reaction with me, and also check out our second channel, Weep Kavassos. We actually recently just took a trip to Japan and we're posting all of our Japan vlogs over there in the links down below. The once a peaceful mm. race of intelligent the Cybertron? mechanical beings, but then came the war. <gasps> it is. Overmatched and outnumbered, our defeat was all but certain. Wow. So are we gonna get more of the war on Cybertron in this one? But in the war's final days, one Autobot ship escaped the battle. <gasps> it was carrying a secret cargo which would what? have changed our planet's fate. What was the secret cargo? Oh my gosh. The hope that vanished. That hope just got blown up. Well, what was the hope? Something I really like about the Transformers movies is that they're kind of like action meets sci-fi. Like, I mean, there's a lot of sci-fi elements, but for whatever reason in my head, I always just like think of them as action. But I mean, it's kind of like action sci-fi, which is cool. I like that genre. Impact detected. We have impact confirmed. Is it the moon? The dark side of the moon. Hey, Bobby. Mr. President. Designation top secret. We believe JFK into the moon. <laughs> we think the Russians and Jackie Kennedy to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. The Transformers are the reason we went to the moon. If you believe we actually went to the moon. <laughs> one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This has already started a lot better than the second movie started. Neil, you are dark on the rock. Mission is a go. We have 21 minutes. <laughs> it was all coordinated. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> like a fun twist, you know? Like they were secretly investigating Transformers. Transformers, dark side of the moon. Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. That is not Megan Fox. Who are you? Right? Is that her? Was it a blonde? What? This is your new lucky bunny. What the heck? Why are you just in a new relationship with like no explanation? Even though I, I didn't really look into it because I didn't want to get any sort of spoilers or anything, but like wasn't there a reason Megan Fox wasn't in the series anymore? Y'all tell me in the comments what happened there. Like this feels like something had to get rewritten in a weird way that didn't fully make sense. That probably wasn't meant to be like that. You need any money for lunch? Are y'all gonna have more chemistry than him and Megan Fox? President of the United States. <laughs> Sometimes the humor is funny and then sometimes it just doesn't fully hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Romance me with a nice dinner and um, maybe you can get that bonus. I want an explanation on this relationship. We can't just like leave it unsaid. Ah! 
Oh my god! What? Who are you? Freaking shot my circuits out here. It's in your man what it is. Isn't that her dog? That was like Michaela's dog, wasn't it? Ah oh, shit! I seen this one. This is the one where Spock goes nuts. Are they literally just gonna not acknowledge it at all? What if she dumps us like the last girl? Oh, she was <gasps> you like her. Okay, so Megan Fox dumped you. Is that the only explanation? Okay. At one of our decommissioned facilities, a discovery was made, which I fear may be alien in nature. The facility's name is Chernobyl. Chernobyl? <gasps> oh my gosh, what is that? It looks like a snake or some sort of serpent. What? I cannot get a, a grasp on the shape or the size of this thing and it's full. Oh my gosh! It looks like a graboid. It's like the worm from Dune, but like, make it a Decepticon. <gasps> Optimus Prime! He got in a car accident. Oh my gosh! Listen, Al Jabe! Wow. That is Shockwave. Shockwave. This is an engine part from a long lost Autobot ship. The ship that was escaping Cybertron. Um, why is Chantel using what appears to be a red cup from the red floor when we are on the yellow floor? It um, is a visual and therefore a visceral betrayal. This is weird. Don't work here. I don't know what's going on here. These Autobots are like teenage kids. They like to sneak out of the <laughs> house every once in a while. Colonel Lennox, uh -huh. I'm a are you yes, not? Yes, ma'am, I am. Stop it's... with the ma'am. Enough with the ma'am. Do I look like a ma'am? No, ma'am. Yeah, yes. I mean, why not ma'am? It's like saying sir, but like woman. I feel like it's like respect. Sign of respect. What is this? The silent treatment? We've seen that and this is not that. Definitely not. <laughs> this is worse. He's pissed. Oh my gosh, he's in a bad mood. You lied to us. Everything humans know of our planet, we were told had all been shared. So why was mm. this found in human possession? It was carrying an Autobot technology which would have won us the war. And what technology? The, captain, the great Sentinel Prime. He was commander of the Autobots before me. What? Sentinel Prime? Sentinel has just reminded me of X-Men. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, it's McDreamy. This woman right here is my secret weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gould, mm. please you exaggerate. All I've done is get you organized. Oh, you have done much more than that, my duchess. <laughs> what is this dynamic? <gasps> She's in all of the freaking pictures. I don't know about this one. Oh my God, are you threatened by him? <laughs> 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 no love. <gasps> Is that a like a, a hood? <laughs> Why are you wearing clothes? Oh my poor master, how it pains me to see you so wounded. Oh, that's why he wears that. Laser beak. Kill them all. <sighs> With pleasure. Is your daddy home? Oh my gosh. Oh my Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, the loose ends. Is that freaking what's his face from The Hangover? What is this Hoochie Mama outfit? It's me chaquetas. Look what? No, this is the aerospace division. Okay? No, we do not allow that here. What the heck? That's a Latin meltdown, okay? If you ever show up in my office with the Hoochie Mama outfit, you're fired. You got that? Okay? You're gonna be on this cart for two and a half years. What? Hey, I want you to live it, love it, and name it. It seems like an unnecessary scene, to be honest. <gasps> there he is. He's the Did You Die. You okay? Absolutely. I'm next. I feel like I want to get back to the Transformers stuff and not really focus on him anymore. <laughs> this job is weird. <gasps> I know who you are. What? Ricky. On the back of six different photos, two continents with aliens. Oh. Deep throat. Watergate. Talking code to you. Damn it. <laughs> what? It is code pink, as in Floyd. Dark side. Why do you think no one's been up there since 1972? That's why we haven't gone back to the moon. <laughs> my manifesto. Whoa. You just keep that on you at any point? Never know when you gotta whip out your manifesto. Oh. Oh. I think we should talk, because some of the stuff you put Whoa. Not first. Can't you see I'm busy? 
Who are you? Who are you talking to? That's happy to me. <gasps> like I wouldn't forget it. Oh my gosh! You took your package. What is going on there? We are not boyfriends, okay? I don't know him. I would never say anything. <gasps> oh crap! It's Laserbeak or whatever his name is. You freaking! You're working with them. What did you say to Witwicky? Oh shit! <gasps> What is even happening? Come on. You want some of me? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> what? Chuck, well, that's not helping. Jesus. A workmate died, but looking out the window is not going to bring him back. The man was depressed. What the heck? I was not expecting that. I mean, he said he was going to do it, but like, dang. Right, packing an M4s? What are you protecting? Colostomy bags, red <laughs> pants, throat lozenges? Babe. Where'd you get that hat from? Nursing school? We are in the right place. We are in the right place. You don't understand. You weren't here. Oh, you're gonna get Optimus out here. You get the wrong building. You're not Megan Fox. And what part of Decepticons back do you not understand? Yo, you being a smart ass? Do not hit my car at the collector's item! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. We've got an Energon reading. Got aliens in the vehicle. Ah! You move this Whoa, 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 whoa. We're freezing. Oh my gosh. Shia LaBeouf really does do crazy well. <laughs> B! Is B in there? B! How's your car now? Bumblebee to the rescue. That's my car. Come on, Sam. Does he talk again, or is it still the radio? Black Ops stuff is important to you, and I'm not trying to diminish it or, you know, guilt trip you or anything. I just never see you anymore. Oh, Bumblebee's not coming around. How come, like, Bumblebee spoke in the end of the first Transformers and then, like, never spoke again? Like, they were just like, oh, he's having problems with his voice again. And that was it. But why would Decepticons want to kill humans? I thought their war was with the Autobots. Have you been around, like, the last... Well, no, you haven't, actually, because you're not Michaela. He holds the only thing in the universe that can repower a transformer spark. This is incredible. I feel like she did not earn the right to be here. It feels wrong. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. Sentinel Prime is hostile. You are home, Sentinel. I mean, not really. That got destroyed in the war. With all due respect, young man, I appreciate what you did. But you're not a soldier. You're a messenger. You've always been a messenger. Rude. You were our leader, Sentinel. It is your right oh. to lead us again in a world I do not know. He's not going to. I'm no longer your teacher, Optimus. Oh. You are mine. It's interesting to see, you know, Optimus Prime's teacher. I just realized that other guy was in Firefly. He was the... I forgot his name. Oh my gosh, why did I forget his name? He was the pilot. It's supposed to be at Dylan's party, remember? I think I liked, um... Michaela as a love interest more even though they still had no chemistry honestly the the love interests so far in these movies have just not really been that strong of characters in my opinion you think i could sleep last night and then it hit me no sam wants to be in danger he doesn't know who he is without i just him. want to matter sam i don't want to lose you and i know where this leads seems like your relationship wasn't really <laughs> built on a strong foundation to begin with are you coming with me i can't I don't really feel much because I don't have a connection to you. I'm sorry. You know, Sam, maybe you should just be on your own for a bit. You and the Transformers, you know? All there is is the mission. Decepticons must have raided the ship before Apollo 11 ever got there, took the pillars, and hid them. I mean, it doesn't make sense. If the Decepticons have the ship, they have all those pillars. Why would they leave Sentinel when he's the only one that could use them? Unless he's the Unless one what? Need. Oh, because he's the only one that can use them. Okay, that makes sense. So did they just like, they weren't able to get to him maybe? Oh my gosh! Whoa, that was pretty cool. <gasps> oh my gosh! He's gonna catch him. That's freaking crazy. Oh, he blocked a wheel. Oh, goodness. That's some serious skill, Bumblebee. Is there a problem? Whoa. 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 Mexican standoff we got here. Why does that one kind of look like the Predator? <laughs> that one. It looks like the Predator. Is this supposed to be the Predator? Proper. You'll never be the Predator. 
<gasps> oh, no! Not the Predator one? If y'all watch my other <laughs> reactions, you'll know I love the Predator. What you must realize, my Autobot brothers, is we were never going to win the war. For the sake of mm -hmm. our planet's survival, a deal had to be made with Megatron. What? <gasps> what? I hereby discharge you from duty. Oh my gosh. What is, what? Oh my gosh, so you're, what? What even happened? So you double cross them? Oh my gosh. So he's had to deal with Megatron this whole time? Is that what's going on? I need an explanation to what just happened. Oh my gosh. That was just like so out of nowhere. Like I was not expecting that at all. Like took me a minute to process everything. This is all on you. Okay, I don't know about that. So when Sentinel left Cybertron, it was to defect. <gasps> He oh my gosh. Rendezvous with me here on Earth. So he's always been working with you this whole freaking time. Oh. Oh. This is sad. Like, because Optimus Prime looked up to him so much, and for this to happen is just insane. Why, Sentinel? Why? For Cybertron. Yes, explain why. What war destroyed, oh. we can rebuild, but only if we join with the Decepticons. No, it's not oh. the only way. I remember a talk I had with my dad once about tough choices. And now's not what? the time to set something up, though. Of course, that was way back when my dad's firm was in charge of budget review and accounting for NASA. What? what taught me was, when it's not your war, you join the side that's going to win. What is that supposed to mean? It was a freaking Decepticon this whole time. That's why he gave the car. There's so much deceit in this movie. Oh my God, get out! Good night. Good night, Mr. Get me out of here! So they all know, all these people? You really think you're the first man ever asked to join the noble alien cause? Who are you? Been back to the moon since 1972. Because these two, they came to my dad and they told him to do some creative accounting. They get way too expensive to ever go back. Oh. Cut down the American and Russian space programs, and they've been our clients ever since. Oh my goodness. So this all was I've calculated. For years, Sam. Spy I've never been able to provide is someone close to the Autobots. Oh my gosh. So he was just using her to get to him. Oh, this is sad. They don't deserve to be treated this way. All driving in a line, all sad with the music. Check the nitrogen. Out of here. Where are you even gonna go? Optimus. What your leaders say is true. This was all my fault. I told them oh. whom to trust. I was so wrong. You didn't know, Optimus. You didn't know. That doesn't make it your fault. It just makes you human for a change. Remember <gasps> this. Oh, you may you lose human. your faith in us, but never in yourselves. Optimus. Oh no, it's freaking stupid Decepta watch. I need to know how you're gonna fight back. Oh. I know there's a strategy, I know you're you're coming back with reinforcements. Oh my gosh. Oh no. There is no plan. Oh. We just do what they want. How are we gonna live with ourselves? The fight will be your own. Well. They can't fight without y'all though. They can't fight the Decepticons without y'all. We're gonna do whatever we can. Make it like it was. You will always be my friend, Sam. Oh, Bumblebee. No, oh, this is just like so sad. I was, wasn't expecting a, a goodbye like this. Oh my gosh. Starscream? <gasps> oh my goodness. Did they get out of that? Like, what the heck? There's no freaking way, right? No! Come on! Did what? <gasps> we all work for the Decepticons now. We didn't see them though. We didn't see them, so I don't fully believe it. Like, come on! They said they were here for our resources to rebuild their planet. Yes, but really one resource in particular. Us? Huh? You're very smart. You see, what is that supposed to mean? 
How many rocks up there oh. are for six billion workers? We can't transport people. They're not shipping people. They're shipping their planet here. Oh, like they want to take over this planet. They're going to launch them into orbit and bring Cybertron into our atmosphere. My gosh. Controls the rest. He triggers that. It starts the whole thing. You were just so ready to just like roll over and be a slave. What the heck? <gasps> Whoa, that is crazy. Wow. That kind of reminds me of Avengers. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Like, dang, this movie. I mean, it's called Dark of the Moon, but it is freaking dark. It's just like complete alien invasion here. <gasps> oh my gosh. They're just like getting completely vaporized. I am just so shocked at the tone of this movie. I mean like obviously we had dark moments in the other movies, but like this is just on another level. Optimus Prime! Yes, 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 yes! Your leaders will now understand. Decepticons will never leave your planet alone. And we needed them to believe we had gone. <gasps> For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. So y'all had a plan then. Okay, well that's good that this was all part of the plan. You know, I didn't think so. I didn't think they died. There's no freaking way they would go out like that. I saw your ship blow up. The ship? We would never end the ship. We designed the damn thing, didn't we? We were huh? hidden in the first booster rocket to separate. Oh. Oh my gosh. We're gonna help you win this war. Oh, they're helping humanity, even though humanity didn't want them here. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Woo! Laser beak! <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh! No, he's fine. Is it like Bubblebee or someone? Nice. Oh. Hey, 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 where are you going? No, no, no. They're just so little. What determines like if they're little or not? Is it just genetics? Like why are some of them so freaking small? Oh my gosh. Oh, so much is going on and not in a bad way. <laughs> I feel like in the end of the second movie, there was too much going on in a bad way. This is like too much going on in a good way. Bro brothers, let's make this trip Aww. worth it. Oh God. I mean, that's scary. You're so high up, like right out the window. <gasps> oh my gosh. It is on its freaking last leg. But as good as this face. Stop for a second. We don't do what we came to do. It doesn't matter. We all die. Right? That's your target. Come on, man. I guess it's like you're going to die anyway. I'm having a heart attack anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, cover! Oh! Oh! The building is freaking falling over while y'all are in it. Oh my goodness. How is that building even still freaking standing? That is freaking terrifying. But also the situation you were already in is so terrifying too, but oh my gosh. Everybody jumping out of the freaking window of the building and sliding down it. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. So like, what was their plan just to literally jump out the- I mean, I guess they really had no other option, but like, they were just gonna jump out the window? Did they know they were gonna slide? <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> like, this is just honestly so unrealistic, but in a fun way, you know? <gasps> oh, oh no. A mug? Oh my gosh. 
You literally are the electronic dune worm. How are they gonna get out of the building? Oh my gosh, it's literally falling over. What? Oh, okay. Remember how I said it was unrealistic in a fun way? It's starting to get a bit gratuitous, but it's okay. It's still fun. The action sequences in this movie are just freaking insane. Go Optimus Prime, go Optimus Prime. Aw, I said aw. Oh! We know you can get crazy. We saw you last movie with the Fallen. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's tangled. It's okay, we're not gonna see Optimus Prime freaking die again. You know what? Actually, for a, a hot second there, we thought he died again. Like, how many times are they gonna kill Optimus Prime? How exactly is Cybertron gonna come here? Is it gonna like just be on top of everything or what? Thought you were working for us. Oh, the thing! Wow. Whoa! <gasps> right in the eye! Oh! Oh my gosh. Woo! <gasps> Surprised you haven't hit something. <gasps> oh, but you're like still tethered. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Well, that was good, convenient. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got it already. Oh goodness, now they're both freaking stuck. <gasps> Oh my gosh. How long are they gonna be freaking tied to this guy? Oh, finally. Oh, Bumblebee here to save the day. <laughs> of course. B, I think they're going to kill us. Your time oh is my up. gosh. Wait, wait, wait. We We're your prisoners. Move it. Oh no, no, no. We're all a bunch of good chaps. I mean, you know. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh no, 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 not Bumblebee. Please, no. Gotta help him. What? What are you even gonna be able to do? Oh, oh, his, his weapon. Well, he's shooting it from afar. Oh, what did it work? <gasps> no! 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 <gasps> oh my god! Oh, he did it! Okay, oh my. I was like literally, I'm literally crying right now. Like, no way! Okay, I was not ready for that. I did not want that to happen. It felt like it was about to happen. Like, that was like a goodbye type moment. Oh. <gasps> wow. Dang, Bumblebee. Nice Go, Autobots. All y'all working that. together. Oh my gosh. Wow. They were ready to sacrifice themselves. Their little selves. Oh. Nice. Humanity. You can't just come over here and take over our planet. Oh wow, look at him just like, oh my gosh, Optimus Prime. I love when he goes crazy when he's fighting. Ah -ha, Optimus Prime. When he's in his goblin mode. I bring you Cybertron, your home. But you're destroying someone else's home to do it. You were the one who taught me freedom is everyone's right. Oh. <gasps> oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh. There's only one future for me. Not if you have no future when they take over your world. 
No! Oh my gosh. Oh wow, you traitor to humanity. Come to surrender. Megatron's head, like more and more of it keeps coming off throughout the movie. Sentinel's bitch. Oh! Wow. Whoa! Did you stop yourself or did someone stop you? Chose sides? You chose, you chose sides! You chose wrong! Our planet will survive! <gasps> oh my gosh, his arm! He'll be okay though, he'll be okay. No! Oh no! He's, they can't do it a freaking again. <gasps> no. Oh, Megatron. Ah! This is my oh my planet. gosh. He was like, no, it's mine. <laughs> He's worked too hard for you to just come in here in the third movie. You think you're a hero? Huh? You think you're a hero? No, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> <gasps> wow, oh, goodness. Back to Cybertron, y'all go. Oh my gosh, Cybertron is getting blown up. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that was a terrible mistake. Who would you be without me, Prime? Time to find out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great line. Honestly, I feel like Optimus Prime is my favorite. He's so freaking cool. Like, dang. Oh my gosh, how he ripped his entire head off. Oh, wow. All I ever wanted was the survival of our race. I had to betray you. They could have survived here on Earth with the humans, kind of. Trade yourself. No, Optimus! Oh my gosh. He can be ruthless when he needs to be. That's why I like him. Sorry, Bumblebee. I like you too, but I like Optimus Prime more. Freaking all beat up, lo lost an arm, your door's hanging off. Honestly, okay, like I'm, I'm assuming they had to do rewrites for some whatever reason or change, probably whatever was supposed to happen with Michaela. but this girl just feels so out of place here. That's like the one thing that just always kind of takes me out of it slightly because it's just like, you know that that was supposed to be some form of Michaela, probably some plot line around her, I'd assume. It just doesn't feel right, but whatever. It is what it is. I love you. I love you. Wow, you said I love you so easily. I'll not do anything to make it up to you, I promise. I'm gonna hold you to that. It took you two movies to say I love you to Michaela. Whoa! Oh, is this like a, like a proposal time? You gotta slow way down, okay? There will be days when we lose faith, days when our allies turn against us, but the day will never come that we Aww. forsake this planet and it's Oh, Optimus Prime, ending it with Linkin Park every single movie. Whoa! That's what I call the start of a beautiful... Okay. Well, you know, maybe she needed that. <laughs> oh, okay. It was worth it. Get him out. I'm going to jail for love. I don't care. So that movie was significantly better than the last movie. It just had a better plot line, just better story in general, better writing. I mean, there were still some parts here and there that were just a little bit silly, kind of unnecessary, but I think that that's kind of a trend through all of these movies, honestly. Obviously, you had the whole thing with the love interest, and I that just still kind of just took me out of it a lot because you could tell that that probably wasn't what they intended to go for. Like, it felt like something had to be rewritten or changed around. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what happened with Megan Fox, why she didn't come back to the third movie. So if y'all know, let me know down in the comments below. But that was just kind of like one thing. I mean, to be fair, I don't think Michaela was that great of a character anyway, but you did see her and Sam go through this journey from the beginning together. So then when you had somebody else just kind of dropped in here and then like still reaping the benefits, I guess, of being the hero in the story. It just didn't feel fully earned, which, I mean, 
you know, it is what it is. That wasn't really like a make or break thing, but it's just something I noticed, I guess. It is hard for me to say if I liked this one more than the first one. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. But it was really good. Like, I get people who probably say this is their favorite of the three. Like, I can definitely see it. The action scenes were amazing too i mean i said this during the movie they were a little bit ridiculous but kind of in a fun action movie way like i mean don't get me wrong they were ridiculous them falling down the building him like tethered for so long you know flinging through the air like it was a bit ridiculous but it was still honestly kind of cool to watch and that's just kind of a trend with these movies is sometimes they're very over the top but i think that they're just meant to be entertaining some more than others obviously second movie we're talking about you, but this one was really really good. I still kind of think I liked the first one more, but it's really not by that much honestly. I had a good time with this one. I also think that we really got to see Shia LaBeouf's acting talents on display even more so than the other two movies. Obviously we know he's an incredible actor, you know, from other projects he's done beyond Transformers. Like the one I think of all the time is Fury, like he did an incredible performance in that movie. I know that there's some other movies that he's done that I haven't seen that people say he was just insanely good in, but in this one I think that you really got to see his skill set kind of shown off in a way that we haven't yet, and I think a lot of that had to do with the emotional kind of dark tone of this movie, and I really enjoyed that because you had stuff like that a little bit in the first two. I mean obviously the subject matter, you know, it's like fighting giant aliens, like it's gonna be a little bit darker in tone, but there was a lot of lightheartedness. And there was that in this movie as well, but the dark tone kind of took it to a whole new level and it just felt a lot more serious for the majority of it. I mean, you had kind of the moments at his job that were not really, those parts were just kind of whatever to me, but I think the parts that really stood out to me were the more kind of serious, darker, toned moments of this movie. So let me know down below if y'all want to see me watch the Bumblebee movie next. I'm pretty sure that one would make sense to watch next. And if I should continue the Transformers movies or not, let me know down in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.